Hello, this is Amy from Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. You can find my blog at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com and I wanted to show you how this convertible free motion foot set works um, for Genome machines. I had someone ask and a recent video I did showed this toe on this foot. This toe does not come with the Genome free motion quilting foot set and uh, it is the ruler toe that I talk about a lot on, on my videos and on my blog. But I'm going to take that off. There's a little screw right here. I know this foot looks a little um, bulky, but it is fabulous. Okay, so here's, here's that ruler toe. Alright, so we have what I call the ankle. Um, or the foot, and then we have different toes. Let me move these toes in front. It comes with an open toe, a closed toe, see that there? And also, let me see if I can find the echo foot that comes with it. This plastic toe um, for echo quilting. And I'm going to put on the closed toe. I've got a little project I'm going to work on where there's a little bit of rippling between some embroidery. So this toe has a hole right here in this section that's open and it goes right on this. I'm looking through my camera. There we go. Goes right on this shaft here. This part just rests on this little prong here just sits right in there. Turn it over. Put my screw in. Try to hold it where you guys can see and I can still see. And hand tighten it and it's got a slot in there to tighten it up good with the screwdriver. I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Not horribly tight, but tight enough. And so that's the convertible foot set. It's considered convertible because you can move these different toes off. And it just goes on your chin like this. Right here. Now I'm using a 6600 which has an uh, AccuFeed system and that's what this, this little part back here is the prongs that normally come down as part of the AccuFeed system. So ignore that. This just goes on your presser foot shaft just like this. Tighten it on just like you do any other foot. Double check that your needle is right in the center of the hole. And one of the wonderful things about this foot is you can get the camera down at a good angle and still be fairly in um, focus. The screw back here, and maybe I should have showed that to you before I took it off or put it back on the machine. There is a screw. Now watch the foot. I can turn the screw one way and the foot comes up. I can turn it the other way and the foot goes down. And this is so that you can adjust for different heights. That's as far as it will go down. Now my foot's still in the up position. I can lower it down. You can see how low it goes so that you still have. Um, good contact with the foot and your fabric for doing um, free motion embroidery when you're just doing a single layer of fabric. Bring it back up for a thin quilt. Up even more for a thicker batting on your quilt. And that helps control your stitches. Um, if you have a quilt with a lot of seams, you may want to set it up a little bit higher. If you set it up too high, you are going to have um, some sloppiness in the stitch formation, which can cause issues. And I'm just pulling up the bottom thread here. I'm not going to quilt because I do not have my gloves on. Um, well, I'll quilt just a little bit. Use my needle down. Love my needle down. And you can see with this quilt, the, um, the 
foot does not move and right now I've got it set up too high. Can you see how that quilt sandwich is kind of flopping around as I sew? So I lower it back down. You don't want your um, quilt sandwich to be flagging up the um, needle. And conversely, you don't want it getting pushed down into your sewing machine. But mainly with the feet, you don't want it to go up your needle, flopping around. So that's how you adjust it. If you have a lot of thick seams, you'll want to raise the foot up. Sometimes you can't find just a happy medium, and you need to set it up um, differently for different areas in a quilt. If I'm running right along the edge of applique, thick applique like wool, I'll raise it up higher. If I'm just working in the background, I'll lower it down. And just love this foot because it doesn't um, clack. You know, when you have a normal, a regular free motion foot, you've got a thing that goes over your needle bar and it goes clackety, 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 clackety like that. It just drives me crazy. And I love this foot. This is again the free motion, the Janome convertible free motion quilting foot set. And uh, so I hope that answers some questions for you. Uh, again, I'm Amy from Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. You can find my blog at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.